quite often children in year three or especially coming into year four will tell me I hate division can't stand it or they'll say I can't do division and quite often if you're teaching division you find that children who've been rolling along just lovely with multiplication are really starting to have problems when you throw a division into the situation quite often they have a confusion between division which we all know is grouping how many groups of five are there in 30 and sharing and they may in the infants have encountered division as sharing of course division is not sharing sharing is fractions and we do one for you one for you one for you one for you another one for you another one for you another one for you another one for you and divide things into quarters division has to be conceptualized as the inverse of multiplication so that we have multiplication and we have division and for year three and four this is absolutely crucial that they see those as one operation in inverse ways so the, the, they obviously start multiplication by clever counting counting it in the infants counting in fives counting in twos counting in tens but they move on fairly quickly to represent that physically with arrays and we have four lots of five cubes lined up and then we can turn that array round and have five lots of four cubes and it's very clear that it's the same thing so getting those arrays and using those arrays to physically represent those multiplication sentences is absolutely key in year three and indeed even still in year four since some children may need to go back to that physical array to turn it around and see the commutativity of multiplication in that way once that is robust once that's solid children can move on to division and i always say to children divisions are just multiplications with holes in and how we do that is we say well you can say six lots of five is 30 but you could say how many lots of five is 30. putting the missing box in that position turns that sentence into a division of course the answer is done by counting in fives so five ten 15, 20, 25, 30. The answer is six. But the question is, how many lots of five makes 30? And it's only when they're secure with that that I start writing the sentence with the division sign to make the connection between the multiplications with holes in and the division very clear. And at that point, we can go on to do really quite big divisions. So we can do things like 54 divided by three. Well, I could count in threes, three, six, nine, twelve, but I'm going to run out of fingers. So let's start with what we know. We know that 10 lots of three is 30. Okay, so let's take 10 lots of three. There we are, one big step, 10 lots of three is 30. And now how many have we got to do? We've got another 24 to do. So how many threes in that 24? And then we see clearly that it's 18. Depicting this on a number line is a very helpful image because one big step from 0 to 30 that's 10 lots of 3 and then individual jumps of 3 steps of 3 up to 54 so that we are actually getting into doing quite large divisions very simply just by using the notion that division and multiplication are inverse operations it's mathematically robust correct and it's also very clear to children what's going on so it's win-win